Hey Scorpio, hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified when the readings are posted on my channel. All right, we are just going to do a reading for the month of September for you guys. Y'all drop me a purple heart in the comment section if this reading resonates with you in any way. I'm still, you know, working on my whole setup here. Um, my table is too small. I got, I'm working from home. So the desk that I used to use is now being occupied with this huge computer. Um, so I can't use that. So I ordered a new desk and it should be here soon. But in the meantime, I don't want that to stop me from doing my reading. So y'all we just gonna get going and i have usually i do my readings at night um so i'll be having to use that red light but today you get the red dress because it's the light outside and today you get the red dress so you know let me just get a good shuffle on this deck all right scorpios let's see all right, so the first card out is the Queen of Swords, all right? So some of you are dealing with the air sign or you have Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius highly aspected in your chart, okay? You have the, what is that? Eight of Wands here. So Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords. Let's see what else. The chariot card. The Knight of Pentacles. the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Swords, okay? Scorpios, let's see what is going on for y'all this month. All right, so some of you may be getting a divorce or you could be separating from a air sign, okay, with this Queen of Swords here. Or some of you has a person from your past because the Queen of Swords came out first, so... It's like a, um, it's more of like the past energy. And some of you may have a ex that's very resentful um, about a breakup between you two, okay? So someone has not been able to get over you, um, Scorpio, or someone is going to have trouble getting over you, okay? Rod Wave, you never get over me. Okay, so Scorpios, I feel like you could have turned your back on someone or someone turned their back on you. And this person is having a hard time moving on, okay? Or this is something that's about to happen, okay? I feel like you may want out of a situation. You may want to leave a air sign or you just may feel like that relationship has run its course. And this person, especially a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this person ain't trying to let you go, Scorpio. I feel like someone is very um, in there. It's very much so in their feelings about you this month, Scorpio. I don't know what you did, okay? You got this Eight of Wands coming out here. So I feel like you definitely left a hole in someone's heart or there's a hole in your heart regarding a relationship or a situation that didn't go the way it was supposed to go okay you know this shit don't feel right wrapped in my rage uh that's a rod wave I, I believe the song is called pieces okay and he says you know my life is like a book how i'm turning the page reading our chapter hoping that i end in a change you know this shit don't feel right wrapped in my rage Oh, yeah. You know I got you on my mind forever so often. Looking back at it now, I can see how we lost it. So, Scorpio, there is a relationship, okay? There is a relationship. This big old black hole right here in this Eight of Wands. You could be, this could be a fire sign, too. A Sagittarius, or you could have Sagittarius highly aspected in your chart. But there is someone, okay? I, I feel 
feel like y'all can't get over each other. I feel like the relationship is over or you're together and you know it's over, but you're both ha finding it hard to move on. So take the story how it resonates, but there is a past person in this mix, okay? And this person, look, look how the Queen of Swords has her back turned, okay? So somebody turned their back on somebody. Someone could have betrayed someone, okay? Because you do have this Five of Swords here coming out last in the reading, okay? Which is betrayal. Someone is having a hard time getting over some type of pain or betrayal in regards to a relationship. And I feel like in the month of September, that situation is coming full circle in some way, shape, or form, okay? Because you have the Chariot card here, okay? So the Chariot card represents um, moving forward, okay? So I feel like this is definitely someone who moved forward in a relationship, okay? And could have left someone behind, all right? And I don't know, I kind of, with this, Knight of Pentacles, I finally, I kind of feel like someone thought the grass was greener on the other side. So Scorpio, this could be you or this could be this air sign. But I feel like someone left someone in the cold. I feel like there was no closure. I feel like there was, it was just kind of this ghosting situation or there could have been like a bad argument and things went left and you had to separate from someone. And I feel like either you or this person moved on fairly quickly, Okay. And I feel like now you're pretending to be happy where you are or this other person is pretending to be happy where they are when truthfully you can't get this person off your mind or they can't get you off of their mind, okay? Um, I feel like you have tried to move on. I feel like this person has tried to move on. But there's stuff, something that's keeping you guys stuck together. So this could be a very, very strong soul tie, okay? This could be a very strong karmic soul tie where you're in a relationship, you're not happy, you know this, you know this is not the person that you're supposed to be with, but somehow you cannot get away from this person, okay? This person could be an emotional manipulator or this is you, okay? Um, or there could be like this really deep codependent energy um, for either you or this other person, okay? You have the Wheel of Fortune next, so I definitely feel like things are changing, okay? The wheel is changing. So I don't know. I kind of feel like somebody changed their mind. I kind of feel like there's a, there's this, this could go two ways. There could be a relationship where you were due to get married to someone. You were deeply in love with this person. You guys had, uh, what is that, Jasmine Sullivan? I had high hopes for us, baby. Like I was on dope for us, baby. Chasing after a high that I will never get back again. So we became three long years. And it became painfully clear that we will never see those days again. But I guess forever doesn't last too long these days. Yeah, someone's name could be Jasmine. I don't know. You could have been with this person for three or more years. Um, but, you know, I had high hopes for us, okay? So this, this is like a situation where you didn't want to give up on a relationship or someone didn't want to give up. And I feel like you held on and you held on and you held on or this other person held on and held on and held on. But it just wasn't meant to be. And then you all of these years later, you just you finally get to that point where it's like, I, I got to get a move on. I got to turn my life around. I got to start all over again. Y yeah, you or this person didn't want to have to start over again, but you both knew that this relationship was toxic, okay? So you held on hoping that things would change, hoping that this person would change or vice versa, okay? If you're a cross watcher, this could be the Scorpio, okay? Some of you could have been holding on to a Scorpio, hoping things would change, hoping this person would get it together, hoping this person would realize your worth, okay? It's, you guys have a strong karmic soul tie. So this could be like a twin flame or a soulmate relationship where it's very toxic, okay? It's just very toxic. But now you have this Wheel of Fortune coming up okay so this is a, the wheel of fortune is scorpio leo aquarius and 
um Taurus okay so you could be a fixed sign you and your person could both be fixed signs and fixed signs tend to be very stubborn okay fixed signs do not like change okay so in terms of being able to detach and move on with their life especially when it comes to someone that they love fixed signs have a very hard time doing so okay fixed signs will hold on and hold on until the rope snaps and they have no choice but to let go. And I feel like that's what's happening in the month of September. Someone has been holding on and holding on and holding on and refusing to let go. And then the, the rope is going to snap. The rope is snapping in the month of September and you're going to be forced to let go. So there's something going on because there's it's been nothing but betrayal. Okay, the five of swords. Okay, look like this person is being stabbed in their head. There it's five swords, okay? There, this is unhappiness. This is bitterness. This is betrayal. This is lying. This is cheating. This is manipulating. It's been a, a mess, Scorpio. This relationship been over with, okay? Or again, this could be someone that you already separated with, but maybe you're thinking about getting back with this person, okay? Somebody could be, if you are already in separation with this person, this person could be pulling on your heartstrings because they don't want to let you go. They don't want you to move on, okay? It, it's hard for them to let go. You guys are twin flames or soulmates, okay? But, mm -hmm. I don't know, Scorpio. We're going to clarify this. But the rope is breaking, all right? The rope is breaking, The higher fence. You are definitely divorcing someone. So there is an upcoming divorce, okay? You learned whatever lesson that you were meant to learn in this relationship, okay? There is a separation or a de final divorce, okay? A divorce is being finalized. A separation is being finalized in the month of September, okay? The higher fence is the part about commitment in marriage, okay? Wow. Someone could be a life path five or you could be dealing with someone born in the month of May. But yeah. And someone in this relationship had commitment problems, okay? So that was probably one of the reasons. <laughs> then you got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like there's two people, Scorpio, all right? There is two people involved here. So someone is involved with two people, all right? Someone is involved with an air sign and someone is involved with someone who is a queen of pentacles, which is like a healer, a spiritual person, a business person, someone who's about their money, someone who is about growth and et cetera, okay? So I definitely feel as if um, someone is involved with two people or someone was involved with two people, okay? And you got the Queen of Swords versus the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And someone had to make a choice. And I feel like someone chose based off of logic, right? The Queen of Swords is more logic than intuition. So someone made a choice. They, Scorpio, you probably had to choose between two people or whoever you're involved with had to choose between you and someone else, okay? And they didn't choose. They didn't make this choice based off of emotion and intuition and feelings and love, okay? They pretty much detached from their emotions and made the decision that they thought would be best for them in their logical mind, okay? And I feel like now, <laughs> bottom of the deck, the emperor, okay? Um, now, this person is realizing that they chose wrong okay they realized that wherever they went or whoever they chose it was just toxic but they didn't want to look bad okay they didn't want to look bad so they stayed they could have been in this situation with somebody for years okay and they didn't want to look bad so they stayed in that situation pretending to be happy hanging on for dear life Yeah, somehow a Leo could be involved here, the strength card. So once I said hanging on for dear life, you got the strength card, okay? There could have been some type of conflict between you and this person because the Leo, the strength card says confrontation with you and other people. So I don't know, maybe you had a bad breakup with someone, Scorpio, and this person said some things that 
hit below the belt and hurt your feelings, okay? So you being all emotional in your feelings about what they said, you went and made the wrong choice. Now you realizing you made the wrong choice. You have the magician card, okay? The eight of cups, okay? Someone's having money problems here. Um, someone, the, the card, the magician card literally says an element of surprise, good or bad, okay? So there is something being revealed. Look at that. The three of swords. Somebody definitely had you in a third party situation or you had someone in a third party situation. Scorpio, I feel like your heart could be torn between two people or the person that you're dealing with, their heart could be torn between you and someone else, okay? And it's just a messy situation. This person could have went and got divorced. I'm sorry, went and got married, okay? Yeah, this could be someone that you have children with or your person could be trying to choose between you and someone that they have children with. And I told you the life path five here. Someone definitely is a life path five or born in May, all right? But... Scorpio, that three of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? There was a lot of betrayal. It's just this whole messy situation between one person having to choose between two people and making the choice and the other person who they didn't choose being in this revengeful, resentful um, energy. And now the other per whoever this person is that had to choose, this person is realizing that they made the wrong choice is yeah i gotta make a u-turn so now they're gonna try to bust a u-turn and this person may not even want them no more okay because this person had to deal with betrayal this person had to deal with public embarrassment somebody moved on and got married okay or someone actually like was someone found out you were married and that broke their heart okay that knight of pentacles okay that knight is someone who has commitment issues so I don't know, something's hitting the fan this month, the the final closure, okay? The rope is snapping. Someone has held on as long as they could possibly hold on. And they can't hold on no more because there's some information that's going to be revealed that is going to <laughs> come back to me. Child, it's just a mess. All right, let's look at the clarifiers. Yeah, the mask that someone wore. Someone wasn't happy. They had to pretend to be happy. I, y'all, did I not say this? Did I not say this? Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. Turns out the grass is only greener where you water it. Jonah, the Veggie Tale movie, okay? So someone could have the initial J or there could be children involved in this situation. It's sad. Fear immobilizes you. So Scorpio, you could be afraid to step to this person or this person could be afraid to come back to you. Someone's name is Nancy, okay? In this situation, or that could be an ancestor. I said children was involved. Please be a better parent. Some way, somehow, a child is involved. Someone could have been in a person and their child to go go and marry somebody else or go be with somebody else. It's it's just a mess. Exercise, Scorpio. You could be trying to exercise your freedom and your right. Yeah. One, I feel like somebody turned their back on their true love for comfortableness. Yeah, you know, now someone's depressed and ain't bed all day, can't sleep, can't eat, just depressed. Detachment, okay? Someone turned their back on someone. The rookie, okay? Someone made a rookie mistake. Someone's needing to get a tooth to pull. I'm gonna do two more. Yeah, something is blowing up, okay? Last one. Yeah, infidelity. I told y'all someone was a liar and a cheater. So Scorpio, something about to blow up in your face this month or something about to blow up in your person face this month. One thing about them choices, they'll come back to haunt, haunt us if they ain't the right choice. If we made the wrong choice, that choice will definitely come back to haunt you. Peace.